A teenager from Hannam rubbed shoulders with some of the most famous music artists on the planet last night, the Radio 1 Teen Awards. Aaron Guilty was nominated by listeners of the station for speaking out about his gender dysphoria. Aaron was born a girl but now lives a male life. Rachel reports. Justin Bieber, Five Seconds of Summer and Radio 1's biggest DJs took over Wembley last night for the BBC's Teen Awards and mixing with the stars was a student from Hannam. Aaron was born a girl but from a young age was unhappy with his identity. He's now being given an award for speaking out about changing his gender. Um, it's a Teen Hero Award, so if somebody you know, they might vote you in if they think you've done something that's courageous or inspiring to others. I won this award because I'm trying to help others going through the same situation as me. And what is this situation that you're, you're going through at the moment? So I'm dealing with gender dysphoria, so the feeling of being in the wrong body. Um, and it can cause depression and anxiety and a number of things. And how old were you when you realised that you weren't happy? It was around 10 or 11. Growing up, Aaron suffered from depression and anxiety. At the age of 16, he approached a school counsellor who helped him come out to his family. Um, he, he did say that he would want me to talk to mum and dad. Um, I said, that's fine, so I phoned dad up to see if we could make an appointment. And dad said, don't bother the appointment, just tell me over the phone. So I, I looked at Aaron and I said, you know, dad wants to know now. And Aaron said, tell him. It's just one piece I had uh, talking to Aaron about. Aaron knew that he is who he is. He's known that since the age of 10, but not been able to express that. And I think it's, it's worth knowing that actually science supports all of this, that people know who they are. It's not a life choice. If you're transgender, if you're gay, if you're straight, that's who you are. Aaron has already inspired many young people and wants to continue sharing his journey as a transgender. Um, at the moment I am doing a YouTube channel to try and open it up to a wider audience and just give information if anyone has any questions. I'm Rachel for Made in Bristol TV.